What is up y'all? I'm Jordy. We're back again with Regulation H, and today I've got another really cool team for you. This one was created by John Luke BGC, so I'll make sure to link them in the description. They've got their own YouTube channel, very similar content to here. If you like my stuff, you'll like their stuff, so go check them out. Uh, but anyway, what we've got here is we've got an Alolan Exeggutor Trick Room team, also featuring a Body Press Iron Defense Corviknight, and a Paldean Tauros Aqua Breed. We got some really cool Pokemon here. Uh, we rounded out with Incineroar, Farigaraf, and Ursaluna. Just because Ursaluna is like the best Trick Room Sweeper in the game right now for Regulation H, and Exeggutor is a Trick Room Setter. So they just have good synergy in that way. But anyway, this Exeggutor has Harvest and Citrus Berry, so when you eat the Citrus Berry, you've got a 50% chance of getting it back at the end of every turn, and that turns into 100 if Sun is out, but we don't set Sun. Uh, and Tauros Aqua Breed, it's Assault Vest with Intimidate, so it's bulky on both sides, and it doesn't compete with Urshifu anymore, because he got the can, uh, so we can actually use it. I hope it actually becomes uh, a pretty usable Pokemon, because it's really cool. Raging Ball turns into an 80 base power physical water move that breaks screens, which is great. And it gets cool moves. It gets Close Combat Aqua Jack. It gets Wild Charge for some reason, despite being a water type. It's awesome. And Corviknight's just a great Iron Defense Body Press bot. It's a very good Pokemon, very fun. You know the rest of the Pokemon. But anyways, I'm excited to get into it. Let's see what we can find on the casual ladder. All right, we've got... Uh, Pokesports. Oh, hi Pokesports. I recognize that team too. All right, let's see what we got here. How can I beat this? Let's see if I know that team actually. Let's pull it up. We've got that somewhere, I think. Oh, I'm gonna run out of time just trying to find it. That's not it. There it is. Okay, Lilligant is terrifying. So is their Trick Room mode. Uh, but their Trick Room mode can't handle Ursa Luna if I just go with it. How many Wide Guards do they got? They got Wide Guard. Not on Gallade, but on Araquidid. Okay. I think Ursa Luna's good. I think Corviknight is also good. Because it's good into Psy Spam. But if they bring Torkoal, we can just Terra. Uh, into Psy Spam, Incineroar is obviously good. Incineroar is good into everything except the Lilligant. And then finally, I think we could go for Rigorath and try to stop their Trick Room. But I don't think I want to stop their Trick Room. I think I want to bring Tauros, maybe? I mean, Rigorath isn't bad, but Tauros into Torkoal seems really nice. But it's bad into Psy Spam. So I will bring for Rigorath. But in the back. Could be good for reversing Trick Room late game or something. See what we got. Alrighty. Oh, that is Poke Sports. Okay, cool. Hopefully, I can shine here. Lilligant Torkoal. That's what I thought. Yikes. Alright, uh, they got Sleep Powder. Man, why they got Sleep Mr. Kurtastic, why'd you give them Sleep Powder? Alright, uh, after you, Lisa. <laughs> Is this just an after you eruption? I think it probably is. I could protect <clears throat> Ursa Luna, Terra Dragon. And it is Sash Lilligant, but I can Brave Bird it. Yeah, I think that's the play here. How am I gonna get through all of this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have the best things against uh, Eruption Spam. Now, if they just go for a Sleep Powder... Terrifying. Alright, Corviknight, you got me, right? Torkoal Protect. I like to see that. And what are we seeing from Lilligan? A sleep powder. Which we dodge. Okay, that's huge. And a crit brave bird. Alright. <laughs> a little bit of Kevin luck on my side here. 
Yeah, we got left over. Okay, that wasn't that much recoil. I thought that recoil would be worse, but they don't have much, H much HP and we got a lot and we got leftovers. So that's fine. Uh, their Terra Ghost on their Lilligant. Uh, this could be an eruption just to get it done. So I'm going to go to Ensign, who also has goggles. I guess it could be a close combat into that slot, though. <clears throat> What they've got in the back. Ursa Luna doesn't want to fight Gallade. None of my team wants to fight Gallade, actually. <clears throat> Clear Amulet Gallade, anyway. I think. Do they go for another Sleep Powder? Or is it after you eruption time? <clears throat> I think I save Ursaluna, go to Incineroar. And Brave Bird Lilligant again. I think that's what I gotta do. I don't love it. Uh, the Intimidate down on Lilligant should protect me from a close combat. But a close combat plus eruption would really hurt. Uh, Sleep Powder connecting here wouldn't be too bad. Okay, that is what they go for. That's not too bad. So I've got goggles on Ensign, and Eruption's not going to do too much. It is Charcoal. Oh, it's Earth Power. Ooh, good call. Really good call. Alright. Uh, now Incineroar gets close combated if they swap in Indeedee. Am I okay with that? They could also Terra Ghost the Lilligant. But they can't Sleep Powder my Ensign. I think I want to hit a knockoff into Torkoal if I'm allowed to and just start trying to wake up. Uh, Lilligant swapped, actually. That's great. Into Indeedee? Oh, that's fantastic. I was so worried about it going the other way. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, that means they save Lilligant for later, though, which is a little scary. Uh, okay, they're Psychic Seed. Fine. Oh, Terra Fire time. Are you going for Eruption? Trying to call a fake out, hope Corviknight stays asleep, click an Eruption. That's fine. Because I'm going to weaken the damage with Knockoff. I mean, if you're just going for Heat Wave, good call, but I'm also getting rid of the uh, Charcoal item. Alright, Corviknight's asleep, fine. Didn't really need to wake up there. There goes Charcoal, and there's Eruption, okay. I mean, this will still do some damage, like, this isn't gonna be nothing. Yeah, that was some damage. Alright, uh, I guess they have Trick Room on Ndidi, probably. So I, I guess I need to get rid of that. Uh, I could Parting Shot into Ferrigarath even. I think I just try to wake up and take out Indeedee, right? Knock off 65 times 2. Flare Blitz is a little bit more because of the sun. Has Incineroar done his job? Maybe. But I don't want to knock myself out, because then they get a single target at Eruption. So I'll knock off Ndidi. And try to Brave Bird it. Corviknight did wake up. That's great. Uh, maybe I should have gone for Flare Blitz. I don't know if this combo KOs. Oh, it doesn't! No! Yeah, this is a Trick Room coming. At least Corviknight can eat that. That's good. Yeah, and there's Trick Room. Okay. Do I think Ferrigarath can take a Heat Wave? How's the sun doing? Because... Brave Bird, Brave Bird. Sleep, sleep. They did lead with Sun. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go Ursa Luna here. First of all, he's hard to knock out. And second of all, yeah, Sun is about to end. Uh, I'm pretty sure I double protect here. Okay, good. Got that call right. Yeah, with Sun gone, I should be able to take these hits. And then possibly clear the board with Hyper Voice, and then maybe Counter Sweep. With Lilligant in the back. That's pretty good. Oh, and it's Eruption. Ooh, not risking a miss. Okay. Alright, and I get a little bit of leftovers tick. Which is very important because I think I'm not in range now. And three whole turns of Trick Room left. And they have Lilligant and who knows what else. Hope it's not Hatterene. Well, I guess maybe Frigoraph can handle Hatterene? Not really. I don't see why it wouldn't be a Hyper Voice and a Brave Bird. Yep, Helping Hand Eruption, that's what you got. Could be Heat Wave, I don't know which one's stronger at that HP. It is Eruption, okay. I'm pretty sure we both take this. Yeah, good lives, good lives. All right, and Corviknight might even survive the recoil here, which would be awesome. Uh, but then they got Lilligant, and if it's Hatterene, can I win? I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, Ferrigraph could come in. Hmm. I don't know, this is has gotten it real close. I mean, it's, it's, it's Pokesports, they're gonna bring Hatterene, it's a size band team. What you got? Lilligant, of course. And... Who is it? Gallade! Gallade. Glade's min speed is 85 minus 8.5. We're slower than Glade. We are in fact slower than Glade. Do I think Blood Moon can take a Glade? Do I think Blood Moon plus Brave Bird? Because there's no way they leave Lilligant unguarded. Two turns of Trick Room. Maybe they do leave Lilligan unguarded. Blood Moon the Gallade. I want a double Gallade. Like, Corviknight probably gets knocked out, though, anyway. If Gallade needs a Blood Moon, that is. Ooh, so close. Sacred Sword into Corviknight. Yeah, it goes down. Okay, it's all up to Ferrigarath now. And Leaf Blade, yeah, that makes sense. I guess it could have been close combat. Do I have something in the back, potentially, that could swap into a close combat? I could have brought Exegator or Tauros? No. I guess Leaf Blade covers Tauros better. Alright, Ferrigarath, you got this, right? Right? Uh, hopefully I'm slow too. What's my speed stat? 80? Oh, I'm gonna go after Gallade. Oh no, that's bad. Well, let's click Hyper Voice and see what happens. It's the, it's the correct button to click. Uh, how could I have done that better? Hyper Voice, I guess? Then I don't lose my Ursa Luna? Yeah! There's Night Slash. We eat. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ferrigarath! <laughs> Woo! Does the Lilligant not have Protect? I don't know. I guess... Not. Did we see Protect? Anyway, GG. That was fun. Woo! A real close one. Alright, here we've got... This is a team. Here is a team right here.
the Fairy, Volcarona, Rillaboom, Azumarill, Farigarath, and King Gambit. Alright, I don't know, am I going to be able to beat this team? I don't know, that's pretty scary. Uh, Incineroar is terrified because there's a King Gambit. Otherwise, Incineroar is okay. I guess there's also Azumarill, that's bad. Uh, Tauros also has Intimidate, causing me even more problems of the King Gambit variety. Uh, but we've got Corviknight, we've got Iron Defense. Yeah, there we go. Iron Defense, Corviknight. Uh, we just gotta get rid of Volcarona. I guess we could also Terra Dragon, uh, but that would make us weak to Azumarill. Actually, we're pretty weak to Azumarill on this whole team, yikes. Alright, I'm gonna bring Corviknight, and I'm gonna get a defense boost right away. That's what I need to do. Uh, and I think I'll also bring something for that Volcarona. I guess it would be Tauros. Like, I risk giving them an attack boost. They probably lead King Gambit, honestly. So I could lead Ursa Luna to do some damage to it. Bring Tauros for the Volcarona anyway. And then finally... I want to bring Exeggutor. No, I want to bring Farigarath. I want to stop priority moves, because they've got Aqua Jet, they've got Grassy Glide, and they've got Sucker Punch. So I'm going to bring Farigarath. Offensively, it doesn't do terribly into this team, as long as I can get rid of King Gambit, which is the big threat. Alright. The very end. There's King Gambit. Called it. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna get up an Iron Defense right away. And I think I just Blood Moon the Clefairy, because they're just gonna redirect, yeah? They did not redirect. I could have Earth Powered? It wouldn't have KO'd or anything. And we are faster than their team with our Ursula. Great. Ooh, Clefairy's gone. Goodbye. I did not think just Blood Moon would do that, but I guess Blood Moon's strong. Life or Blood Moon, don't don't think you can get away with it. Okay, and Swords Dance from King Gambit. Cool. Well, now that your redirection's gone, I would love to body press you. We'll probably see a Terra, but I would love to body press you. Wish I could give Mind's Eye over to Corviknight. Uh, maybe I set up another Iron Defense. And where do I want Terra? I kind of want to save it for Tauros, maybe? Into Grass? Helps against Azumarill. But Ursa Luna could be in trouble here. I think I will Iron Defense again. And I'll just throw a Hyper Voice. I think I baited the King Gambit into Terra here, because Iron Defense, obviously I have Body Press. Yeah, so Hyper Voice should be neutral now. Into Dragon, perfect. Perfectly fine with that. And if I'm faster than your King Gambit, I'm probably faster than your Azumarill. Unless your Azumarill's like fast and gets off a of Liquidation, that'd be scary. Alright, we are faster. Good damage, half to both. Wow, Citrus on Azumarill? Yeah. So they can still get up a belly drum if they want. If that's what they're going for here. They did. Alright. Cool play, cool play. I wonder what King Gambit's going for. Are they going to try to knock out Ursa Luna? They oh, are they have low kick? Well, they're going to succeed then. Alright, that's pretty scary. What's our speed stats looking like? 80, 72. Okay, we are faster than that Azumarill with our Farigarath. And we would get around Aqua Jet and stuff. But Tauros resists Sucker Punch and Aqua Jet anyway. And might be able to KO Azumarill. 165 plus in, into Wild Charge. 130 into Psychic. Let's stab. Yeah, I like Tauros. Like, I know I'm boosting the King Gambit again, but it's in body press mode. Right? Let's not worry about that. I, mean, I guess Azumarill's probably in psychic range. 
But uh, this should be fine. Body press should be able to take out King Gambit from here. And then we just wild charge, finish off Azumarill. I guess they could Aqua Jet and Sucker Punch into Corviknight, but we're at plus four defense, and we have such defense. Like, that's not gonna KO. That didn't do anything. The plus three Sucker Punch? That did something, but I'll take it. Goodbye Azumarill, and presumably goodbye King Gambit. I guess there's a chance you take this. But if not, the 3v1 now is beautiful. Yep, goodbye. That was pretty scary with all those boosts they had, but I boosted my Corviknight better. And Tauros just having the right typing for the game. Love it. Alright, now let's hope they don't have something weird in the back here. Let's hope whatever that is remaining can't just sweep through the rest of this team. It's Volcarona, okay. I like that I saved Terra, I will Terra Dragon, I will Brave Bird, and I will Raging Bull, which becomes a water bird. They already terra Yeah, there's no getting around this. There's no way. Because Assault Vest uh, Tauros here, is just, it's just got you. It's completely got you. Even if you can take out the Corviknight by like reading this and going for a big bug buzz or something, Tauros got you. Ooh yeah, Oko. Let's go, Tauros. Let's go, Urshifu at home. <laughs> basically what it is. I hope it does get some usage, because like it competes with Insin as an Intimidate user, but it's not competing with Urshifu anymore. Let's go. Alright, we've got... It's a 5-mon team, and it's not legal in Reg H, but it's close. It's just a Fluttermane there, is the only thing. Alistair. Alistair. Is that the Ghost Gym Leader? Okay, that's pretty cool. Anyway, how do we handle this? Uh, Ursaluna ain't afraid of no ghost. So we spam that with Exeggutor. Um, I was gonna say we'll lead Incineroar for Fake Out and Exeggutor, but we can't Fake Out any of those. Uh, so we just have to hope Exeggutor can take whatever hit. And I'm gonna part it next to Incineroar anyway. Incineroar can take a hit and parting shot into Ursaluna. That's what I want to do. And then finally to round it out, uh, Corviknight's body press is useless. Rigoraph's Hyper Voice is useless. We'll never get our Throat Spray. So I guess this is a game for Tauros. I mean, Raging Bull, Close Combat, Aqua Jet, Wild Charge. We can't touch the Grass one, but we can hit everything else with Raging Bull, so why not? Or we could just bring Corviknight just to Brave Bird stuff. Hmm. I mean, with the Assault Vest, Tauros should be able to take some hits, but not from Fluttermane. Corviknight actually can take a hit from Fluttermane. Let's let's bring Corviknight. And it can hit Sinistra. <laughs> you see some wild stuff on casuals. Let's see what we got here. Good trainer card? Yeah, it's a, it's a fine trainer card. Um, I guess it's, it's a little missing something. The composition isn't quite right. Gastino, the once sleepy, and Egghead, the recluse. Alright, all, all I got is Exeggutor. I got an Egghead. Alright, Intimidate works on both of those. That means very little to me. Let's Trick Room. And let's Parting Shot off of Gengar. Uh, should I have Terrastalized my Exeggutor to try to not go down to Sludge Bomb? Maybe. Gravity. Oh, it's Hypnosis Spam. There it is. Alright, that's fun. Alright, well at least Incineroar was the sleepy one, so we're alright in that respect. Uh, I'm gonna Dragon Pulse into the Gengar, and I guess swap out into Ursaluna. Like, I doubt they Hypnosis that slot again. Alright. Man, I'm actually scared of this team now. Uh, there's a Quash on Exeggutor. Wow. Oh, I'm. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. 
Oh, that's gonna be a big problem. Oh boy. <laughs> well then. Because now they're gonna quash Hypnosis the other slot. I guess I can waste their time with a Protect. Yeah, and I'll Dragon Pulse. Protect. Oh my goodness. Where's Ferrigraph when you need it? I didn't I didn't think Quash is gonna hypnosis is what they were gonna be playing at. Yikes. Alright, Executor is asleep. But we already burned a turn of sleep, so like that's two turns. And there's your hypnosis. How's this gravity looking? You got like what, one more turn? Two more turns of gravity? Oh boy. Alright, Dragon Pulse. Still into Gengar. I want Gengar gone. And I guess I swap back into Incineroar. I can't just let Ursa Luna go to sleep. With only two turns of Trick Room left, that, that can't happen. Ursa Luna's really important to this game. Uh, Alright, more attack drops. That's nice. But are you gonna start attacking or are you just gonna spam Hypnosis? Because, like, Executor is gonna wake up eventually. We do see a Terra from Gengar, and it's Ghost. Does that imply damage is coming my way? From like Shadow Ball? Maybe you don't have Sludge Bomb. I'd like that. Ooh, Light Screen? Ooh. Alright, Executor wakes up and gets a hit off. I like that. And I no longer have Dragon Pulse. Great. Alright, Hex is good on a sleeping target, but I'm awake now. So this is not too bad. Didn't even trigger my citrus. Kinda wish it would. Alright, where are we looking at? Gravity is up. So I'm gonna get Hypnosis, so I'm gonna protect, and I'm gonna hope Incineroar wakes up and get rid of that Gengar once and for all. Come on. Come on, Incineroar. You got me, right? I wanna play with Executor. Don't let it go to sleep. Ooh, they protect. Oh, because next turn they can just Gravity Hypnosis. Great. Oh, now they get Reflect up. Wake up, Ensign. Nice. All right, now you have to check. Now you have to choose who goes to sleep. Twisted Dimensions return to normal. Twisted Dimensions aren't that important. But I will Trick Room because... If they target Ensign, something's gonna have to go to sleep. They get a free gravity hypnosis here, and I either want Trick Room back up, or to knock off that Gengar. I, I gotta get one of them. You're not stopping both. If I get Trick Room up, and Incineroar goes to sleep, then they're gonna quash hypnosis my Exeggutor, but that gives Incineroar time. Quash does not a oh no trick room's down. Okay, they did have sludge bomb by Executor. Oh. Okay, but Sableye had nothing better to do, so it just threw a random move. Gotcha. Gravity, light screen, reflect, quash. Yeah, there was nothing better it could have done there. It just didn't want to leave the field. Alright, we got rid of their sleepy time Gengar guy. Who had a weakness policy, by the way. Oh boy. Corviknight, who can take a hit. Ursa Luna, who can hit back. Uh, I think it's Corviknight first, because they got screens up. And there's Fluttermane, okay. Let's chip down this Fluttermane as quickly as possible. Shouldn't be able to do too much damage to us. Uh, Brave Bird and probably Knockoff. I could also Parting Shot out. I think they're light clay? Probably. But I'll just double into Fluttermane with Knockoff and Brave Bird. I didn't see a booster energy, so Knockoff should be good. Weakness Policy, Terra Ghost, Hypnosis, Gengar. Wow. Maybe there's a Shadow Sneak somewhere on this team. That would make sense. It's not on Sableye, though. But this is cool, the Mono Ghost stuff. I'll take it. Uh, gravity, I'm not sure what that's for. Fluttermane doesn't really have inaccurate moves, right? It doesn't get Hypnosis, right? Okay, it's just Mystical Fire. That'll bounce back the special attack drop onto you. 
I like that. And Brave Bird plus Knockoff is not going to KO through Reflect. Okay. Close. Oh, and that was a Choice Specs hit? Corviknight, you beast! You ate that up. I think I'll just protect Corviknight now and get rid of Fluttermane with a Flare Blitz. Battle's canceled. We got him. <laughs> All right. GG's. All right, Bree, you've got. Oh, you've got. Oh, you've got a lot of Pokemon that are not legal for this. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> I think it'll be fine. We either win or we don't win. Um, I want to get Trick Room up, and I want to bring Exeggutor. So I'm gonna lead Exeggutor. And my best bet at getting Trick Room up. I could face some problems with their Ferrigarath. Not gonna lie. That could be a problem. Uh, how do I get Trick Room up? Um, yeah, I'll lead Exeggutor for sure. Maybe I do Incineroar for the Fake Out anyway. I know I risk getting uh, messed up a little bit by that. 66 is your speed, okay. Uh, but then I need Blood Moon or Saluna, of course. And then maybe Corviknight could swap into a Draco or something. It's for a grabs typing fairy, that's cool. Is Corviknight any good otherwise? Or do I want for Rigorath as well? Hmm. I think I do want Corviknight. Okay, it doesn't do well into Maridon's electric moves, but if... Like, you're not gonna KO Exeggutor with an electric move, so I might force it to go for a dragon move, lower its special attack. At least they got a picture with Entei. That's good. Alright, Frigraph or Shifu. Darker Shifu. Okay. Alright, Ensign, what do you have? You have Flare Blitz, Parting Shot, Knockoff, Fake Out. Uh, I want Trick Room up. I'm a little worried about an Imprison. I think maybe I just go and attack this Urshifu with a Giga Drain and Parting Shot out into my Ursaluna. Because yeah, Urshifu would go first anyway. Uh, there's a U turn. Okay. I'm hoping for Rigorath sets Trick Room for me. That's what I'm looking for here. I'm hoping it's seeing the Exeggutor and like, oh, they're gonna set Trick Room, so I'll set Trick Room to stop their Trick Room. But I'm on Casual Ladder. You can't ever guess the skill level of your opponent here. Uh, we get the Parting Shot off before the Rigorath. That's not unusual. But it could potentially indicate they're going for a Trick Room. <laughs> Either way, I like bringing Ursaluna in now and having Corviknight in the back so I can bring it in and... Ooh, Imprison. Okay, so I wasn't going to be able to Trick Room. So I made the right call. Get a little bit of health back on this tree. Man, this Exeggutor is only slightly taller than Ursaluna. What the... Alright, uh, I think it would be a Sludge Bomb into Exeggutor, maybe? Could also be Earth Power into my Ursaluna, though. I don't want to protect and bring in Corviknight. I want to bring in Corviknight and call who they attack. I think they attack Exeggutor, so I bring in Corviknight. Where do I want a Terra? Um, Incin would be a good Terra choice. But I think the damage from Terra Normal here could be enough. What if I just Blood Moon the Landorus? I think it's fine. Then I don't need a Terra boost. So I just want to catch a Sludge Bomb with Corviknight and then get rid of Landorus. That's what I want to do here. Yes, got it. And I like being able to keep my ground typing in case Maridon causes problems. Alright, Psychic Noise, that bounces off mostly harmlessly. I'm going to take just as much damage from my Life Orb. And goodbye Landorus. Alright. Who needs a Legendary ground type when we got... I mean, Ursaluna Blood Moon feels like a Legendary Pokemon. 
like I get why it's not banned. It can breed and stuff, but you just can't evolve an Ursa Ring into this form. You have to catch this form as the one only. So it like feels like a legendary, but it's not one. I don't know. All right, here's Maridon. I'm guessing electric move into the Corviknight slot. Usually these Maridon teams would have Specs Maridon. So actually, I could protect with both and just scout out what you're doing. Because your Ferrigraph doesn't have protect. Ferrigraph might have Hyper Voice. I actually should have clicked that earlier to see. Because if Ferrigraph has Hyper Voice, I can't Hyper Voice. We've seen Psychic Noise and Imprison. Must be Trick Room. Could be Dazzling Gleam, could be Hyper Voice in the last slot. Uh, they're locking Volt Switch. That's great to see. That's incredible. I actually like that a lot, because now if you're forced to Volt Switch, I can just Terra Dragon and delete your Urshifu. Yeah, because I've got Dragon Terra. If you're going to Volt Switch, bring in Urshifu, and then I'm going to Brave Bird it, and I'm going to... Can I Hyper Voice? I can Hyper Voice. Boom. There we go. Uh, you can get around this by Volt Switching my Ursa Luna, or by not being Specs and switching your move now. But if you have Volt Switch, that screams Specs, and I assume Specs anyway. Yeah, there's Volt Switch. We eat it up. And we're gonna take your Urshifu. And then Maridon has no shot if it locks into an Electro. Brayford. Good damage. Corbin, you got healing, right? Oh yeah, you got leftovers, okay. And we're not getting psychic noise in that slot. So Maridon basically has to lock Draco Meteor. Which is fantastic. But uh, still might be enough damage, honestly, to take out the rest of my team. Um, I should double protect to stall a turn of electric terrain, as well as, I mean, see what they lock into. And to get some more leftovers on Corviknight. Electric terrain has three whole turns left. Uh, we've got Incineroar and Executor. Okay. Yeah, just protect. Protect. There's a Terra from their end. I didn't even realize they still had Terra. Into Maridon, into Fairy. Good to know. Uh, oh, are you locking Dazzling Gleam? Do you have Specs Dazzling Gleam? Ooh, with a Helping Hand? Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a lot. I did not think they would have Dazzling Gleam. Uh, well, we don't know for sure they have it, but if they're Specs, they have it, right? Yeah, ooh. Um, no, that's really bad. I might not be able to beat that. I mean, it's a Maridon. I probably shouldn't be able to beat it anyway. Alright, if they lock in with that... How can I win this? They're not going to be able to drop their special attack. Two turns of electric terrain. I have to sacrifice two Pokemon here. Um, I think Exeggutor has the best chance of anything of living, but it's not living. Incineroar should be able to live, but what's that going to do for me? No, I don't win this. Okay. I guess I'd go for a double protect on both of these, just to try to stall an extra turn of Electric Terrain if I get the double protect on both. Alright, Corviknight doesn't. Ursaluna also does. Hey. Ouch. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to protect Exeggutor and get a parting shot on the Maridon. 
and then hopefully electric terrain ends after that, and they'll be significantly weaker, and then maybe Executor can take a hit. Right? Do I have that timed out right? For the record, this team is not supposed to be fighting a Maraida. <laughs> the fact that I've made it this far is crazy. Yeah, last turn of Electric Terrain. So we lower that special attack. But we don't want to knock them off. And protect. We want to keep them locked into Dazzling Wing. Oh, but this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt Incin a lot. Oh, and Perigraph's going for something else. You got this, Incin. Ooh, that's painful. For goggles. I mean, our Citrus Berry on Exeggutor is nice. And Psychic Noise. Oh no, if Psychic Noise lands on Exeggutor, that's bad. Alright, Electricity's gone, and they're minus one. But the Dazzling Gleam should trigger our Berry before we get hit by Psychic Noise, so we should be able to get the Berry. And then... <laughs> And then we double into Maridon and hope it's enough. Flare Blitz. All I have is Giga Drain. Alright. Gotta hope that's enough. Helping Hand D Gleam, minus one, no terrain specs. My guess is this KO's Executor anyway. Ah, it dies. Incineroar lives on one, but the Flare Blitz is gonna knock us out. Dang. Okay. Alright, Maridon is good in Regulation H. Yeah, Giga Drain wasn't going to KO you anyway. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> GG, I guess. And we are back. This team did really well, but I can't say so much about Exeggutor. Uh, Exeggutor is a really cool Pokemon. I actually love how goofy it is. I don't think it performs super well. Uh, in my opinion, Exeggutor... Uh, I, hope, I hope you're watching at this point, Jean-Luc. Uh, Exeggutor might do better as an offensive uh, Pokemon on this team, because we've, like, we've got bulk, bulky Corviknight with Iron Defense. Uh, we've got Incineroar for some support, we've got Ferrigraph for some support. But once we set Trick Room up, we want to like get Ursaluna in and start blowing things up. So I think blowing stuff up with Ursaluna and then maybe an Exeggutor with like Draco Meteor and Leaf Storm or something like that could actually put in a lot of work. Uh, but anyways, it still did good. I still had a blast. I hope you enjoy this team too. There's the rental code in the corner. Go ahead and try it out. Uh, but anyways, I'm Jordy and uh, alright, peace.